I feel like I haven't done a true weekly vlog in a while, so I thought I would do it now. I'm gonna bring you along this week with all of the acting things that I do. And today I was supposed to be shooting a future horror film that I got through backstage, but unfortunately the production is having some delays, so they're rescheduling my scenes. Supposedly it was going to be next week, but I already signed a different contract for a different short film next week, so I told them like, hey, uh, I can't, but we shall see. I just got a self-tape audition request for a car commercial, and um, it's due within like 20 hours and it has so many actions and they wanted to us to do it two different ways it's like a montage of a bunch of different things and i'm wondering if i should just try to do it with my backdrop or it's a car commercial so if i should try and involve my car i'm gonna make some notes and see what i can come up with that's not gonna take me a bunch of time and will deliver the audition because a lot of these things have props and actions. I'm wondering if I should do my office, my garage, and my kitchen because there's food involved and then there's a car involved and there's an office involved. I think I'll do those three even though in the actual commercial it'll be a bunch of different settings but I think the important, the button at the end, I definitely want it to be calm again because that's the spirit of it at the end and then calm in the beginning, a little bit hectic in the middle. So I'm gonna need a full sheet of paper instead of my usual just index card. I'm home just in time for my first meeting of the day. This one I am one of the producers. The writer director is the other producer and um, we are having a production meeting because we are shooting the short in I think two weekends from now. So we need to get together all of the final pieces and make sure we're on the same page. I just clicked on the um, on the meeting, so I'm just waiting for them to join. Um, oh. Hi! How are you? What has changed? What's going on? What's the plan? It's time for my meeting, the short film that I'm filming next week, Three Wishes. It's a wardrobe meeting. What better place to choose wardrobe options than literally in my closet? And I brought my ring light because often closets don't really have great lighting because there's like no additional natural light. I thought we would do this meeting in oh, my closet so that I can show you all the things that I have. And then if Amazing. you want me to change, I can just hop off great. camera and oh, change. <laughs> What you wore to the audition was great. Um, so if that's if you can bring that, that would be cool. Yeah. So nice I I wore again. this shirt to the audition. You said turn around. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. Let's add it. And then it has buttons. I have a pile of all the clothes that I've tried on, so I can send you <laughs> pictures too. Getting sweaty. I just tried on all that clothes and a little bit more. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm the main character of this short film so i have a lot of changes there's even like a montage i think i need like seven different outfits something like that i went over all of these outfit changes and then now i'm going to take pictures of them send them to the wardrobe and the production team as well as send my measurements in because i don't have some of the stuff like i don't have a blazer which i should have one and i don't have like dark slacks which i also should have some dark slacks so i, I might just buy those because i really need them anyway but i have 15 minutes until my zoom audition so i'm gonna quickly pick this up and just put it in hangers for now so i can take pictures later and get ready for that self tape or not self tape for the zoom audition Here's my outfit change for the Zoom audition. Casual because I'm not quite sure what's happening in the scene. The sides they gave me are about a page and a half, but gives almost no context as to what's happening. Hello. Ah, 158. I have two minutes until my production meeting. That was so much fun. You guys, I feel like auditions can go one of two ways. Like it might sound creepy and suspicious and then it is, or it might just be completely the different direction. And they, their energy, the script, their idea sounds so much like the office to me, just like fun improvisation and things like that. Oh my gosh, I need to go. I need to <laughs> click on this meeting. My point was that I would be absolutely ecstatic to be a part of their film and it's they said it would be on the day that i am available 
Off camera, I got so many things ready. My garage is ready, my kitchen is ready, and I have a costume change for this. One of them is in this outfit and one of them is in this outfit. This is like my work outfit because I'm gonna do a little office desk setup. But first, I'm going to do my slate and then I'm gonna change, do my office scenes, do my kitchen scenes in this outfit, and then do my garage scenes in this outfit again. Cleaning up all of the props that I used for this self-tape. I even had to borrow a car. Hi, my name is Belgica. Just staying in. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm 5'9", located in... Good morning. It's the next day and I need to take photos in a bun bunch of the wardrobe options that me and the writer slash director. So I'm going to grab all of those options and try them on. I am going to organize all of the clothes on the floor to figure out all of the different outfits that I need to try together because there's just so much. <laughs> I don't want to do it inside the closet and then it get mixed up with my other clothes or I forget stuff. I'm just going to lay it on the floor. I surprisingly didn't get sweaty from all of that changing, but my hair was wet at the beginning of it and now it's pretty much dry. I'm gonna go through all of the photos, delete the ones that there's just multiple of and I don't really need, and then I'm going to send over all of the options. I did end up taking closer pictures of the shoes since the shoes are pretty far when I uh, take a full body shot. Just got back from my lunch and I am logging in right now to my table read for the short film I'm doing next week and it's 16 pages and I am the main character so I have quite a bit of lines. I'm going to definitely start memorizing today because I've had the script for a few days, three or four, um, but it's important that I start memorizing as soon as possible because I hate, hate, hate filming when I don't have my lines like completely down and super confident and we can just pick up in any piece, you know. Hello everyone, hello. Happy wishes. I just checked my mail and I thought it would be fun to open up a paycheck. I was a background actor for a SAG AFTRA set for a TV series and I was just on Casting Networks applying to anything really i i was usually i applied to a lot of commercial stuff a lot of indie work and of course my agencies also submit me but usually i will submit myself for la because i don't have an agent in la and i was there for one day and i have the check right here i don't know how much of it i can actually show you but i was on set for i think like two hours or something i am non-union so they paid me non-union and um let's see I got paid $144 with 56 cents total, and then after taxes and stuff, $123.46. That's pretty good for a couple hours of work, um, and this day on set was so easy and fun and chill. But yeah, I got an acting paycheck. They sent this check out only one week after filming, so pretty fast, where there's other commercials. Like one of the commercials I did at the beginning of the year just paid me, and it took them... I think two months and that's normal especially for like non-union work they basically just have to adhere to like the state laws instead of anything else so it's nice to get a paycheck uh, quickly because sometimes I do a bunch of jobs and then I'm just like putting everything on my credit card because I know how much is coming in you know like swiping it for food or whatever and then I'm like okay when's this money coming in but I got a paycheck now I'm going to, speaking of self-submitting, I'm going to self-submit because this morning I was just busy sending in the photos, doing the table read, and then I had a few like little production things for the web series that I'm working on, Bernadette the Brave. If you didn't know, I am producing, I'm one of the producers, and I am starring in a web series called Bernadette the Brave with all-female cast and crew. We still need a couple of actors. We're working on casting. But if you want to follow us for more news on casting, casting calls or um, news about where you can watch it and things like that, you can follow us at Bernadette the Brave. And we will be filming some of the episodes um, in the summer for season one. So uh, yes, let's let's self-submit.
To wrap up my work day, the last thing I'm going to do is start memorizing the lines for the script. Today is Tuesday and Monday we have a rehearsal. So I would love, love, love to be completely off book and have it in my bones and have gone through like character analysis and everything by Friday because this weekend I'm going camping. So I mean, even while I'm camping, there's always a little off time that I like to read or just chill and relax. I still memorize lines pretty similarly as my last video, I think, where I explained how I memorize, but I write down all of my lines only and then I memorize it as if it was a monologue. Specifically, each step is I write everything down, all of my lines, one to three times. If it's really long, I don't do it three times. And then I memorize one line at a time until it's just in my brain. Then after I think I'm off book, I start doing chores while just reciting my lines because your brain can really only concentrate on one thing. So when I'm cleaning, if I can't just say my lines, then it's telling me that I don't actually know them. For a script like this that is pretty conversational, it's very easy for me to memorize. It gets hard for me to memorize when it's really technical either in english or in spanish like or things that i wouldn't say naturally if my brain acknowledges a scene as it making total sense and being very logical it just it just sucks it up and knows it's there but if there's anything that's a little bit strange that i wouldn't naturally say or it just doesn't make sense to me then i do have to work a little bit harder to memorize it. I'm in the stage right now where I'm just writing down every single line and I read it one time, the sentence like once upon a time, and then I don't look at it while I'm trying to write it once upon a time so that my brain is starting to have to keep that in my mind rather than just blah, 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 you know, just saying it without even trying to remember it. I've just found that that's really helpful. If it's a shorter monologue, like a one minute monologue or something, and I wrote it three times and I read it out loud at least three times, then I just don't look and I try my best to just go through it and see how much I have of it in my mind just to, to see what my brain is actually collecting and storing. This memorizing technique, if you want to call it a technique, that I have is a little bit of everything that I've been taught. Very little of what I do in my actor process is something that I discovered. For the most part, it's things that I've learned like from high school to college to after college to random training and courses and workshops that I've done. In addition to me discovering things like, oh, that's logical, that works for me. And in the last like three years, my memorizing technique hasn't changed too much. You know how Audrey from Audrey Helps Actors, a podcast does a self-tape May challenge? I want to do something like that with different parts of acting, like memorizing. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I want to do like a memorizing practice every day for 30 days and then gradually memorize more and more and more so that I can get so much better at memorizing because I know I'm good at it, but I know for a fact I can get so much better. Like I know, because there's people out there who can just look at a page and memorize it like 10 minutes, multiple pages, because I can memorize a page in 10 minutes if it's a scene and there's, you know, it's if it's shorter. So I'm gonna come up with some kind of thing that we can do, we, because I feel like more people also should do it, just because sometimes on set, in theater, whatever, like people ask like, oh my God, how do you memorize so many lines? Like this seems so overwhelming to me. So we appreciate It's Wednesday and I just got a call back. I'm pretty sure I've auditioned for this person before. Where did I find this? I think it was backstage. Let me look at my audition tracker because I actually sent in the submission about a month ago and they just asked me to send in reels or a monologue that was dramatic or, you know, match the character. And now I signed an NDA saying I won't share any of the script, but I have a self tape to do. And I think this will be self tape number 12 of the month. It's due Monday, but I'm camping this weekend and Monday I have rehearsal. So I'm going to memorize this today and film it tomorrow so I can just send it in before I go camping for a long time. I think it's about three pages. It's multiple scenes. I'm going to memorize these lines today, work on the character a bit today, work on it a little bit more tomorrow, and then I can film it tomorrow. Same process that I always do. I'm going to write it down. So I need my notebook. It's next to my bed. I just realized that I failed to tell you 
an important part of my memorizing routine that also helps me so much to fall asleep. Nothing else helps me fall asleep as quickly as running through lines as I'm falling asleep. So I close my eyes, obviously. Like before bed, I will read it if I need to and then look away, read it, look away. Trying to memorize new lines aren't the best while I'm falling asleep because I don't want to say it out loud, my partner's next to me. And I don't want to say the lines out loud, which is usually how it really sticks in my brain. But I still will try sometimes. But after I look at my notebook, once the lights are off, I'm like, my eyes are closed, I'm trying to fall asleep. What I do is go line by line and just see how much I can remember. Without fail, I fall asleep within minutes because the next morning I'm like, wait, what What lines did I end up at? But I think it helps. This might be another thing that I, I can probably Google and see if it's actually like a scientifically proven thing. Memorizing before going to sleep and allowing your brain rest between memorizing I think is really important. It's like my brain digests the text and then it's able to like come out. It's something that I do with basically every script. So I get pretty mad whenever I am having trouble sleeping and don't have a script that I'm currently working on because I don't have anything to say as I'm trying my best to fall asleep. I, I really do try to always have something that I'm memorizing so I can fall asleep easier or even sometimes I'll just like, okay, what's the last thing I was, I worked on, you know, and then I'll, I'll just go through those lines. I'm gonna memorize these lines. I'm gonna put a timer. 15 minutes to write the lines down as well as memorize them because there's not that many lines so I think I should be able to write them down in like five minutes or so and then for the rest of the time I'm going to say them out loud memorize them one line at a time after that first 15 minute timer ended I ended up putting another 15 minute timer because my brain could just handle it sometimes I'm memorizing and I'm like you know what I need to step away like my brain is not wanting to do this right now it just gets annoying and frustrating when your brain is just not like memorizing any of it, I, I like to just take a break. That's why I usually do 15 minutes of memorizing and then I stop and then 15 minutes, unless of course I have to memorize a lot in a short period of time. Then sometimes I do 30 minutes, take like a 15, do some more time. But when I was taking an acting class a few years ago, my acting instructor said, you know, test it out, see what works for you as far as how much time can you sit down. And I noticed that in the morning, is when my brain is the most just like clear and willing to have information come in as far as memorizing. And also it's usually 15 minutes at a time. I'm like 15 minutes and then I can go wash the dishes or take a shower or work out and then I can come back 15 minutes again. Or like today, I wrote it out, I said it a few times and then I started from the top each line down. And because the beginning isn't so conversational it did take me eight minutes or something to memorize like the first quarter but then after that the script does get a bit more conversational so for a total of 30 minutes i was able or not even because i still have the timer going maybe 20 to 25 minutes because my timer has two minutes left in it i've been talking for a little bit now anyway it took me about 20 minutes to memorize i don't want to show you the script but like i hand wrote this much lucky for me i have a bunch of cleaning and organizing to do at my house today after my work hours are over because i am trying to have like a work-life balance where i do acting stuff and anything acting related like self-submissions from nine to five and then after i go and like do a hobby or I spend time with my partner, cook, watch TV, whatever, because I was physically getting a lot of symptoms um, that my doctor said it was just stress that I needed to have uh, more balance and not work from the moment my eyes are open to the moment I go to sleep. And it wasn't sustainable for me, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I got a lot done and I know a lot of people that I work with in the entertainment industry just work all of the time, all of the time because you have to. I think that might be it today for acting. This morning, something you didn't see is that I helped a friend with some YouTube stuff and then I went shopping. Oh my gosh, I didn't tell you. I went shopping because for the film I'm doing next week, which is Three Wishes, one of the things they needed for my wardrobe was um, like slacks, you know, like work slacks. I was like, you know what? Let me try and buy it. So I did go shopping for that and I can show you those. You know what I should do that I haven't done? I'm gonna put these on 
and take a picture and send it to um, production because they're obviously going to want to see these on me. It's after five, so I'm going to stop working in my office, but I, like I mentioned, I do have to clean. So as I'm cleaning and organizing stuff, I'll be going through my lines. And what I'll do is watch, listen to Netflix or something, and then pause it, go through my lines for like five, five minutes, I'll set a timer. Or during the commercials, if I'm watching YouTube or something that has commercials, I'll just say the lines again and again, but the basics of like the lines are in my brain. So now I need to memorize those and then play with the character. And really I have all day tomorrow to play around with the character and film the self tape, edit it, send it over. I don't really want to worry about going through character analysis today just because I have so much time tomorrow and I'm trying to do work life balance. So I'm going to go clean. This morning I have been preparing the two self tapes that I am filming because I actually have one commercial audition that I did a self submission for. This one is for LA. The role for that one is in Spanish. It's very short, but this one is my outfit for a, a teacher role. And I did have a lanyard. I feel like lanyards are very teacher and it says my name. So I was thinking about maybe coloring it, like putting something else on here so then I can put it into my lanyard. I don't know that you will actually be able to see it because I'm going to be mostly like this in the audition, but I want to give her some earrings, something casual but bright. Based on what I have read in the script so far, this teacher is very giving, very charitable. So I think she is married, which is why I kept this on. And I think the, mo the more accessories, the better for me because it tells you what she does you know like she goes on walks and she likes to count her steps because she's walking around all day at school she's married so that to me shows some stability because two incomes in a house because she doesn't have to worry about dating or going out after school to try and find love she already has that foundation at home like that strong support and i gave made myself a little lanyard mrs q does not have anything to do with any part of the script i just decided on a name myself I finally finished filming this audition for this role because uh, I was just waiting for my reader. And so I need to get into my chef gear. I'm gonna be a chef for a commercial audition for this next one. Hmm. My makeup is already pretty natural, but I think like chefs work in the heat. They um, maybe don't have that much time or energy to you know put makeup on so i'm gonna take off a lot of this makeup and of course put my hair up i don't have a chef's shirt this is like the closest you know what i'm talking about like those real, like long sleeve a little bit of like mock neck mock turtleneck that chefs have i could do one of these you know dry my hands talk to the person Oh, and I need my phone. One of the instructions is to show something funny. I open my phone to show them something and then instead of going straight to the funny thing, I mean to the thing that I'm gonna show them, I pulled up a couple of funny things um, to give me like a genuine laugh because we're supposed to like giggle a little bit of what's on my phone and then continue to tell them about this thing. This is a self tape I got from Casting Networks. And of course I wrote everything that I need to make sure to remember to do for this audition. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I am bilingual in Spanish and specifically it's Mexican Spanish. It's Friday now and I do have a few little things that I wanna do, but I just wanna do a little quiz before I let you go. Which one did I get paid for this week of doing all of this stuff? Cause you didn't see me on set, not a single time this week, but did I get paid to A, memorize? B, audition, C, self-submit, D, do any meetings, or E, do a wardrobe meeting. Oh, wait, wait, F, none of the above. It was none of the above. Unfortunately, I didn't get paid anything. Every single thing I did this week was for free. Because I am new to producing, I have volunteered to be a producer. It takes so many hours. And unfortunately, acting has just evolved, specifically non-union acting, has evolved to just working a lot for free. So if you want to work for free, acting is a really good career for that. If you thought like my closet was nice, or I don't know, literally anything that I own, it was likely not paid through acting because unfortunately I am a pre-union actor, aka I'm not a union actor yet, so most of the things I do are either very, very little pay or nothing. 
<laughs> um, so if you are nosy like I am and want to learn even more about how much money I made and spent last year through acting, I have a video right here. If you want to say thank you or support me, appreciate me, um, leave me a comment. Tell me that you're watching. You can click on links in the bio or the description. Thank you.